Big news if you're thinking about the new Pixel 10. Starting at just 200 charge cycles in, Google steps in and limits your battery's voltage and charging speeds, and there's no way to turn it off. Hey, I'm Mark. I make no BS tech reviews that anyone can understand, so if that's something you like, definitely consider subscribing. So what exactly does this mean, and why do I think it's a good thing for all you Pixel 10 owners out there, especially if you're going to be keeping your phone for a long time? After all, hey, get your money's worth. <laughs> Lithium ion batteries hold more charge when they are charged to a higher voltage. When batteries are new and you charge them to 100%, they are in fact 100% or like 99.999. You get the idea. However, the more charge cycles you put through your phone, the battery is going to be going down. So for example, after 50 charge cycles, and you charge to 100%, you're not actually charging to 100% anymore. You're charging to something like 99.5%. So yeah, even though the little battery indicator is showing 100%, it's not actually at 100%. It's at 100% of the available capacity, which obviously does go down over time. So what Google is doing is that they're trying to limit the charging speed after 200 full charge cycles in order to keep the battery as healthy as possible. The second part to this, which is I think where a lot of people are mad, is that Google stated after 200 charge cycles, not only are they going to be limiting the charging speed, but they're also going to be limiting the battery capacity. But that's kind of what's happening with like any phone out there, even your phone. Here's my iPhone 16 Pro Max. I got it, what, a year ago, last September. So we're basically approaching the one year mark. I've put my iPhone 16 Pro Max, let's see if my camera focuses, at 275 charge cycles, I believe. Yeah, 275 charge cycles. And my battery capacity is at 96%. So even though I am charging my iPhone every night to 100%, it's not actually at 100%, it's at 96%. So your phone already does this. Every phone does this, it, it happens naturally. What Google is trying to do is to prevent that from happening as fast. So just as an example, this is not scientific at all, but let's say my iPhone was the Google Pixel 10 after one year. You guys saw it for yourself, it's at 96% maybe with this battery thing that google is doing it won't be at 96 percent maybe it'll be at 98 percent the pixel 10 series is supported for seven years after all so google is just trying to make sure the battery lasts as long as possible for the duration of the support of the phone remember the healthier your battery is the more power it can deliver to your phone and this is easily verifiable if you have an old phone laying around that has terrible battery life you might notice some random slowdown, some lag when you're scrolling or when you're playing games. As batteries age or degrade, their ability to provide constant voltage weakens. So let's say you have an old phone with an old degraded battery and then you, know, you wanna open up a game. If that game is too processor heavy, your voltage or battery's voltage falls below the safe level. So to compensate, the phone slows down the CPU and the GPU so your battery can kind of catch up, essentially. So again, what Google is trying to do is not only make sure your battery lasts longer, the longer you use the phone for many years to come, but they're also trying to make sure your performance stays good as well. This is a win-win. Personally, I'm 100% okay with this, especially if Google is going to be dropping the battery's voltage to something that we can't even like see or really notice. I'm fine with it as long as it keeps the battery healthy. Hey, I'm all for it. But if you don't like this feature, be vocal about it. Maybe Google will add a toggle to let users turn this feature on or off. But I'm just saying after three to four years, you're going to be happy you had this feature enabled the entire time. Believe me. So what do you guys think? I've seen people be mad at this. I've seen people like me that are happy about, the, well, not happy, but they're okay with this. They're not mad. They're not whatever. They're just neutral. They, they don't care, right? <laughs> uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely click that like button. And if you're new here, and like I said, you like no BS tech reviews, definitely subscribe. As always, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.